But tonight, we are going to present this New Orleans singer. Here is Mahalia Jackson. So let's have a nice welcome for her. Mahalia Jackson, the original queen of gospel music, the most beloved and the most recognized person of her time. Her voice is a heartfelt expression of all that is most human about us, our fears, our faith, our hope for all salvation. With her powerful, distinct voice, Mahalia Jackson became one of the most influential gospel singers in the world, recording 30 albums during her career and 45 records, a dozen of which were gold million sellers. Mahalia Jackson was born October 26, 1911. When I was a little girl down in New Orleans, we lived out by the levee. Now, I was born on Water Street and then the levee bank the Mississippi River. Mahalia was the third child to John A. Jackson, a barber and preacher, and Charity Clark, who died at the age of 25 when Mahalia was five years old. Her singing began at the age of four in her church, the Plymouth Rock Baptist Church in New Orleans. Her early style blended the freedom and power of gospel with the stricter style of the Baptist Church. She was influenced by such famous singers as Bessie Smith, Ida Cox, Enrico Caruso, and Ma Rainey. Soon, her own style began to emerge into a more soulful expression. As a teenager, her father sent her to Chicago. Even at a very young age, she carried the rich musical heritage of her native city with her. She began singing professionally with the choir of the Greater Salem Baptist Church and the Johnson Gospel Singers. After five years of touring with composer Thomas A. Dorsey at gospel tents and churches, she began recording for Decca Records in 1937. She received $25 for her first recording, God's Gonna Separate the Wheat from the Tares. Mahalia's popularity and success garnered her another record contract, this time with Apollo Records. In 1946, she recorded her signature song, Move On Up a Little Higher, She began recording with Columbia Records from 1954 to 1967, where she attained broad recognition as a spiritual singer. Mahalia's other multi-million sellers included In the Upper Room, Didn't It Rain, Even Me, and Silent Night, which further extended her fame. Mahalia also appeared in the movies Imitation of Life, St. Louis Blues, and The Best Man. By the mid-1950s, Mahalia had her own short-lived radio and television shows and appeared frequently on national programs. In 1950, she became the first gospel singer to perform at New York's Carnegie Hall. Her name is Mahalia Jackson. She's going to sing for you a gospel song. She performed on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1956, where she catapulted gospel music into America's mainstream. In 1958, she was the first to sing at the Newport Jazz Festival. She sang for President Dwight D. Eisenhower and at John F. Kennedy's inauguration. From the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott until her death, Mahalia was very prominent in the civil rights movement. She was committed to civil rights her entire life and established the Mahalia Jackson Scholarship Foundation for young people who wanted to attend college. Very close with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., she often performed at his rallies and stirred a large audience. A favorite of Dr. King, Mahalia Jackson sang at his request before his famous I Have a Dream speech at the March on Washington in 1963. 
She also sang at his funeral five years later. Mahalia first toured Europe in 1952 and was hailed by critics as the world's greatest gospel singer. In Paris, she was called the Angel of Peace, and throughout the continent, she sang to capacity audiences. Mahalia had a spectacular singing career, winning several Grammys, including two awarded posthumously, one for her life achievement and for the album, How I Got Over. Through her recordings, she lives and leaves behind a glorious legacy. Truly a joyful sound. She will always be the uncontested queen of gospel music.